This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Wednesday, brewing, full swing. So I got in this morning knowing full well that tonight we've got a brewery tour happening and I have to make sure that the brewery's looking good after a freaking brew day. Um, and I've got all the brew finished of course and tomorrow's beer out and ready to go in the morning. So I was pressed this morning to get the beer mashed in in time and uh, with this balmy temperature that we've got in the UK at the moment I uh, my strike water at about 80 degrees is what I normally do and then once it's transferred into the boil kettle it usually drops a degree or two through the pipe work and I only sometimes have to add a little bit of cold uh, to regulate the temperature to hit target well today I transferred and the grain bed was at 72 degrees centigrade so I had to rapidly rush around and add cold water to cool it. We managed to get it down to 65 within a couple of three minutes which is the sweet spot but what a panic I had on. And at the same time I had a delivery of the stainless steel for the brew bench for the pilot kit as well as a couple of the straps of steel to go around the existing tanks so if I get time today I might just cut and weld up those bands there's only five of them and it's only like three little welds I might be able to do that today during the brew day during the boil for instance because we have a bit of a downtime in between after I've dug the mash tun out and uh, you know uh, we've finished empty in the mash tun and the transfer is complete as we get to a boil and we're boiling for an hour there's usually uh, half an hour 45 minutes of just milling around prepping the fermenters but I've pretty much done that this morning during the mash so all I need to do is give them an acid rinse anyway there's the alarm saying it's time to transfer so I'm gonna go out there I'm just gonna set up the transfer into the boil kettle and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at this stainless steel that we've had delivered this morning. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. Maybe in our world here, there live a happy little mountain. dimensions of this packaging I'm guessing this is the sheet steel cut into strips for me so let's get into it and have a look so what I did was order a full sheet of uh, stainless which come in 2.5 by I know it's half a sheet 2.5 by 600 and 10 mil and what I asked the company to do was shear it on their big sheet metal shear into 50 mil wide sections which means that I didn't have to dick around oh hello mate yeah, there's a bit for my um, red ring yeah. so that's all I need to do yeah yeah so yeah as I was saying the uh, the company 
uh, yeah, this is the stuff. They sheared it for me into uh, 50 mil wide sections. So let's just unpack, unpack these and uh, take a look at how they've come out. <laughs> they've even given me the 25 mil off cut from the end which is perfect there we go well that's spot on look so that's the off cut still got the protective foil on one side and here are the bands perfect so they will go around the tanks and uh, hold all that timber on and there's the rest of it so that's all the steel that we are going to require to build a brew stand these are particularly nice pieces of steel so this is uh, 30 millimeter 1.5 mil profile box section really really nice and shiny there's some two inch box down here as well very nice stuff then all these are bars, bar material to make certain aspects of the stand obviously you've seen this stuff they're the bands bit of angle I think once uh, once we get this project off the ground it's going to be very interesting but yes that's, believe it or not 600 quid's worth of steel I mean there's 100 pound tax in there but bloody hell and then this here as well, a piece of solid stainless bar or rod. And this is to make the uh, the supports, the hammocks, for when we do the auto tilt, boil kettle and mash tun. I think it's going to be an interesting and fun project. Well, fuka duke folks. I've actually spent all day getting the brew done and this one this one band this is its third incantation is that a word? <laughs> it's my third attempt uh, third time of charm as they say but the other aborted uh, bands which I can still modify for the other tanks were either too short or too long so that's taken me right up to transfer I'm gonna have to put the camera down and start transferring this beer now the whirlpool's finished and the network groups here that wanted the brewery tour so I'm really under it at the moment now to get all these jobs finished so if you don't see me again then we'll see on tomorrow's vlog I'll try and pick the camera up but chances are as you can see as you can see chances are pretty slim that I'm gonna have chance to get to the video again today so um, Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. We'll see you later. And another day done, folks. I didn't think I'd get to the camera again, but I never got a chance to go home. We've had the, uh, the crowd in for the brewery tour. Went really well, actually. Give them a 20 minute talk, half an hour maybe. Might have ran on a little bit with questions at the end. Uh, also, there was a farmer as one of the guys who came in uh, to have a bit of a look around. And he corrected me on a couple of things as well. I was told that uh, the farmers change the variety of barley in the fields to prevent disease taking hold on any particular variety of barley, like for instance Venture or Planet or Marisotter even. But it turns out that the variety doesn't make an iota of difference and they'd only rotate um, for crop rotation to put something else in the field not necessarily a different variety of barley very interesting indeed but it's always nice to learn something new and uh, every day is a school day as they say bit of a cliche uh, but yeah I'm gonna go home now get changed get a shower and then I'm coming back down to the pub uh, to meet some of Gemma's friends isn't that right Gem? Yeah. little bit of a stag do believe it or not hey I'm a knobhead, am I? Oh, Gemma doesn't like it because she can't come on stag, do. 
<laughs> that's such a sad you look right sad walking away <laughs> oh dear that's it she's gonna cut my bollocks off when we get home folks so uh i think we'll leave it there cheers we'll see you tomorrow